Graves. What about Sniper? Bubbled. <laughs> <laughs> sniper could work, but Blink Sniper. Oh. oh. That's interesting. That's a Howard hero. Mod is dead. Mod should really be dead yeah, right he now. He's in a lot of trouble here. The smoke moving up by Fenrir and FY. He's got charge, but that's the reason why FY is holding with the telekinesis so we can drag March back. And the bash on the Howl. He does the damage, but not enough to get a kill. Morphling will take it. And BG Gaming off to a good start on their Morphling. With level 5, this early, it makes for a very explosive game when you have two uh, team fight off laners, such as Clockwork and Spirit Breaker. Where March in trouble again. He should be dead right now. He try and turn for a charge through three of them, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Maybe the Shallow Grave will be up, and March just get away from VG Gaming, or else you will die. The Sonic Wave, in comes KP! While the Spirit Breaker may die, there will be a double return as the attack flies up and kills off FY. The Morphling just decided to TP himself back out to base. We don't want to rely on 17% to win those fights. I just level 6, so... Oh, he just here comes your charge, coming after Super QO. Just wants to dive, he's got the Shadow Dead, Slice Rocket Raid's gonna miss here. And then comes KP with a big Sonic Wave. FY getting hit by it as well, and QO chasing up with the Shadow Dance, just stealing out that essence of Rubik, but then Fenrir buys a little bit of space, but you'll have the Dark Pack. FY gonna dive back behind the tower while the comms is marching, protected by the Shadow Grave, charging away. He's gonna get hooked, shut it down by Ice Ice Ice. There were still the two attacks from the tower that were chasing him, but Ice 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 caught on the wrong side of the river. KP still with Blink on cooldown for another six seconds, but has that double damage rune. He wants to go back to the lane. Ice 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 revealing himself in the lane. QO can look for the pounce right now. Able to get down there, but no leash, but they still find the kill on Ice Ice Ice. Waste a bit of time, but a kill is a kill. Five to five. Meanwhile, on top lane, Tau takes out the tier one tower. A bigger injection of money coming into that morphling of VG. Of course. This gives them even more aggression when MVP looks for fights, but VG Gaming are the ones looking for it. A three-man smoke move, they're gonna walk into QO. He blinks himself forward right now and being bursted down! There goes your Slark with a Sonic Wave steal of Rubik. FY, as we said, never underestimated, but now KP comes back for revenge for what was stolen. Febby can't move close enough to him, but March, he can. The charge comes forward, the cops get them back for now. Oh, Remember that weave is there, March being stunned, looking to play the Shadow Grave, keeping him alive, but now he goes for the ulti, but then the Yules up in the air. It's gonna be the Queen of Pain. March still alive for the moment around the tree line. They do bring him down, but KP in real trouble. Sonic Waves in one second, he needs more time. Blink away to safety. He's bottling up, already used the one charges. He could turn, he's got Sonic Wave plus Scream of Armor hiding inside the tree line for the moment, but he'll blink in deeper. Meanwhile, Febby is actually chasing down Ice 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 in the bottom river. That urn charge, he's so low, but not low enough to find the kill. The rocket actually scouts out Febby. Is it worth? No, he doesn't actually have box. Still on cooldown for 20 seconds. They're both moving in. Akua's not even going for that. He sees how in the mid, but no, nope, turns around. Comes back into Fender and FY, Frostbite and Telekinesis. Not the greatest chain in the world, but they knew the Dark Pack deals. He's gonna break three pounds up into Ice Ice Ice. The bounce from Marsh actually knocking Ice 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 back. They're able to get the sounds up with the Sonic Wave, hitting three heroes from VG, and now the Paralyzing Cask. It's gonna actually trigger the Lincoln Spear, but at the same time, Super and Fenrir, they can't run. It's back down to Hell, back up the Super. March, another charge, heating into Hell. Might even push him up on top of the cliffside. He's inside the rock face. How bashed again, 77%. Oh. Breaking the game and winning the fight for MVP. They do the work and they'll take the Roshan. VG Gaming are in such a rough spot. They need a fantastic fight. They need how to do something more. And Ice 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 not to die. The charge is coming in. Lightstrike Array will be there on Q1. But the charge comes in and March. Where does he want to go? That Nether Strike. He actually has it. And with a Sonic Wave, they find the kill on the clockwork. March though. Lacuna played it down. There was no Shadow Grave to save him. Now how? The front lines. Nuts. He's going to be Shadow Grave. Into that Death Ward. How much damage? Not enough. The cast gets actually stolen by FY. And it's messing with MVP's fight. We do have the Aegis Seymour triggering, which means Q1 will be back. To all the living, and they look for the permanent stuns if they can get him. Pounce up and away. QO into the trees, regenerating 134 life per second. Ice Ice Ice, no hook shot, and QO and KP, they just blink themselves and pounce away to safety. For MVP, do they have any detection on QO? Actually, don't. Dumping in, they're going up the super, the charge there too. They're fully armored up. The weave was used before this fight, so it's gonna be difficult to inflict any kind of damage. Ice Ice Ice, at least cocking them in, but now you're dead. What again being cancelled? The adaptive strike going to work, and Fenrir lets it go, but there's not many of MVP around to actually take the damage. Super, look going to play, he actually brings down QO March. The job will be finished. It was the urn charge that was doing the work, and Fenrir trying to control up a spirit breaker, but that's one mad cow being chased out. In fact, he's just running himself away, letting K. P blink further away from VG Gaming. A still a 2 for one travel. That'd be a 2-2 as Morphling ends the Queen of Pain streak. 
so much money in for how? Oh. Can easily take a, a lane and a half in a minute. Charge coming in from MVP. Gonna actually go straight through Ice Ice Ice. Turns on the BKB. Runs past the entire of VG Gaming. Ice 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 being Ice Ice. The Orc is still on him. There's no extra damage until he comes on back. The Slark finds a kill. Benray dropping quickly as well. The Guna Blake Hero has to leave himself away. He's in the side of the trees. Out of vision. McKP comes in. Killing up the cross. The Maiden Qo back in one second. As Mars charges. He's got nine life. And he charges in for this one. FY. Mike gets the screen. But can't stop his super. Orc is up. His physical damage is more than enough right now. Sending Q up in the air. They need a stun on something to stop Super. And the paralyzing cast can do it. Bouncing back and forward. In comes March again. The cast will now stop. But is there more damage? How? He is just too strong. 3.5k life. They cannot repel him. And this will be Nuts dying in the tree line. KP's also on the run. The leaner is chasing him down. Super needs more movement speed. And in the tree line, Life Ranger oh. just off target. They can't get the team wipe. VG will still lose three, but MVP lose four. It's just going to push them back and probably have an even trade. Oh, they've got to go for it. March is currently uh, yep. pushing. He's going to charge now. He's not going to be there in a pretty good time. They have fortification by a little bit more time, and that weave is going to be pretty much a full, a full max. When he arrives, so in comes March, he's charging after Super. The stun from Super running too late in the BKB. KP jumps out too, but he got backed up and stunned up almost instantly. KP goes down, 80 seconds, but nope, there's your buyback one. Nuts, controlled by Ice Ice Ice. That death one, it just doesn't exist. Ice 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 will kill him in the tree line. KP comes out for the Sonic Wave, the hook shot gonna miss. Can't get out, but it can. Now Rubik actually stole Sonic Wave. He's actually got the ulti to help burst down the slug. All they need is one extra stun. Q is dropping low, and fight there she blows, and down he goes. Triple kill for VG Gaming will take game one here against the Korean team MVP. And what a good start. It looked good for MVP. And then VG Gaming, the Morphly came online. His teammates, and they're gonna completely destroy the safe lane of MVP Phoenix. And we also get a Quad versus Lina matchup. That's not the best matchup at all. Storm Spirit! That's probably a Storm safe lane. Yeah, I, I think this is gonna be on how as well. I agree with you. Octarine core. So maybe that build up for uh, wow. Super here could be a thing. Take more aggression, but QO actually locked in here. He doesn't have a blink to get out of this one. And now running around the corners, the first blood, it goes the way of Super. The paralyzing car. I think this is a, a fine play from the Naga. It was just too risky. He was also able to perhaps defend the top. Uh, Scepter, right Super going on the clockwork. March, fairly tanky, a very early Shallow Grave and Echo Slam committed. March has a hook shot and they're looking for a revenge kill. They're going to find one on the Earthshaker into the death one. Super dropping so low. MVP, huge kills for them. They'll take a tier one tower. They get two big calls, including the leaner down. The Winterstop gets the extra cash. And once again, they're going to buy more space for this Naga Siren. They take the mid tower, good money, but Hal trying to pull it back again. There's a burst heal onto Hal, and what stall is going to only be screen, but Hal jumping up, burning through the mana. Kuro wants to stick with him, actually baited out the Shadow Strike to force another leap. Do you see a Rubik support zoning away a quad? Not very often, but when it's Look FY, it. and he oh does it again, God. he might even get the kill! He still scream! FY! Unbelievable! That was quick. Kill, that was efficient. Let him do that. And KP's down for the count as well. The coverage of Spiderlings here from VG Gaming. Difficult to keep up, but they can just keep the momentum going. Feby, you might shallow grave now, but you'll want it later. There's no way to TP out. This one being dragged back in the leaner. Super with a double kill. The Aghanim Scepter fully done and March. VG coming. But you do have really great team fight abilities. If you can drop all the armor down of VG, that Death Ward can do more work. March has great initiation up. QO with that Sonic Wave. That's if he survives this. In comes your hookshot. Tries to buy the space of paralyzing cards. Bouncing back and forth. The Echo Sam looking for more damage. QO will jump out. There's your Death Ward going to work. But you're in real trouble for March. The Sonic Wave. How still alive? The Queen of Pain down. And Fenrir in the corner. Beating into March. The heal bomb is there. And Fenrir is so low on life. They need more damage. And they will actually get it from the Malediction. They jump back. Attempt to denial. Not going to happen. It is two against one. Bevy being orchided up. So he can't even shallow grave the poor Naga Siren who never even ulted. <laughs> That's all about. Give that man a beverage.
Hal jumps in again. Orchid's over on Marsh, gonna drag him back. They can protect him with a shallow grave here from Febby, but they need more damage to kill off Hal, and even then, he's got the Aegis the Immortal Naga up in the air. No Song of the Siren. Can they kill her off in time? KP, real trouble, Echo Sam, there it is. GG, well played. VG Gaming will advance, and MVP, the crowd favorite, will be eliminated heavily by VG. It was just a solid performance by VG Gaming throughout both the games of the series and a real rough draft as well for MVP. Oh, how willing they are to put that matchup in the mid. I mean, Sayuza is not terrible against TA mid. You can definitely play that if you want. Damn. Oh, Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> what the what the what the what the Dusa. Yeah, he's actually being forced to do a little bit of neutraling. Now, he does have the hard camp that's stacked up a couple times, and that will be a good way for him to come back into the game. But for now, hold up, Snowball, DK Phobos, Fisher, Light Strike Array, Wills land, and DK Phobos is not going to be able to get the skewer in time. S4 picks up the first blood. Yeah, they just played the spacing game perfectly there. Puppy with a really nice Fissure. Lil instead, it looks like. They still have the two-man smoke. They're going to come over. Oh, he's got a global. There as well. They're going to go for G. Will be able to catch him out. The first damage isn't quite there. He's going to be able to get away thanks to the telekinesis of Lil. Now S4 is going to have their turn around with the global silence. They pick up the free intelligence. And now Arteezy, well, he's stuck in a bad, bad place here. He's got the TP. But can he actually get out of this situation? It's all five of VP running him down. And Arteezy is definitely dead. Plus four intelligence already for the silencer. Illidan's gonna be caught here, Light Strike Array combination, but of course, Illidan is so tanky. Thanks to that level three mana shield, they get the deny in the end, but Illidan is now blocked out, and the Snowball grabs everybody oh, through he DK Phobos, he missed the cure! Still gonna be in a three-man RP, they need to get Furnace Pro out of here though, FNG, there goes the Laguna Blade, High Shards on top of the Magnus as well, and FNG's gonna be caught, Arteezy runs him down easily with the Ion Shell, and it's only really G, he may not even survive, since the trap goes off, slows him down, High Shards blocking him out, Lil comes in, trying to stop this aggression, but a snowball will still be able to bring them into the oh, tier puppy. three tower. Fisher goes out, slowing down Lil. They're going in deep to the enemy base, but there's no buybacks from VP. Girls dropping lower, lower. They'll pick up that kill. Arteezy just has the refraction to survive. He's going to TP out and will be able to get away. A one for four exchange to the favor of Secret. Ward being placed, but there was already a counter there. And this also makes Secret realize that there is going to be a smoke. FNG. Okay, this is going to be an offensive sleep for them to try oh, they and gotta get a lot out of this. This is really dangerous. They pop the global silence. RP on two, but S4 has already managed to get the They just don't scepter. have the damage. They're gonna try and burst down. DK Phobos, Kuro is gonna be the target. Snowball gonna run into two here. Illidan, meanwhile, just trying to get the rest of his team out of this one with his ultimate. But Secret are still gonna be able to search for it. They're here going comes for Arteezy. Right now. Oh, Puppy comes in with the Echo Slam on top of the vacuum. Beautiful combination. Take it out, two. The slow is there on FNG as well as God. Slow down with Fisher, lock him in with the ice shards too. Lil can't go anywhere. He may have to just TP out for fear of Snowball. Sure enough, here it comes. They go on to Lil. DK Phobos managed to grab two with the skewer, but there's still just not enough damage. They're trying to pop Kuro right now, but Illidan pops the ultimate. Will be able to get the right clicks in. Arteezy is stunned up. Turned into that storm. Oh, he's blocked. But Illidan is completely blocked out now. He's the Scepter into the Light Strike Array. Will be able to control him. Laguna Blade to pop him. Arteezy will lose his Aegis now, but it's still going to be a good fight for Team Secret. Backing you up too. God trying to get whatever damage he can before he dies. FNG will be able to successfully TP out, and DK Phobos just stays out of that fight almost entirely. Offensive build. I feel like a four staff is really necessary. DK Phobos, maybe even the Silencer picks one up as well. Uh, Ghost Scepters. Another item that may be necessary. Oh, they're sandwiching right here. Yeah, they're gonna try and go for S4. He does have the Yule Scepter, will, will be caught by the RP. British Pro are willing to throw everything they have to be able to make sure they get a pick off there. But at the same time, with Global Silence and Illidan popping his ultimate, Team Secret will not be able to get anything else, but Artis is already there in that top lane, putting pressure on the tier three. Lil, kinda skittish, doesn't really want to challenge him too much, VP. God was kind of trapped there in the middle lane, but now, oop, there's the sleep. FNG going to make sure that Kuro doesn't get out of this one. There's still the snowball, though. Still a lot of potential for Kuro to maybe get out of this one. The snowball's going to delay his death, pulling it back. Kuro now trying to run himself away, but the Ooks are still there. Back him up oh. three, and Echo Slam! There it is from Poppy with the snowball on top! And VP quickly trying to retreat, but they've been caught. Lil Laguna Blade, and the last right click catches him. Illidan is also running out of mana while Arteezy's trying to pick up as many kills as possible. Illidan will end up going down, and Team Secret just wiped four right in front of their base. Jungle. So in case they oh get picked God, up. in some trouble. DK Phobos going to need to help him out with an RP. Vacuum on it too. There's the wall on top. They managed to drink, bring some of them away, but God is not going to be able to make that TP out. Kuro once again is there with the snowball. Now DK Phobos trying to stay ahead of Puppy. 
FNG's ready to go with the sleep. If Secret moved too far forward, there it is. The sleep is out. He actually needs to help out Illidan. When you know that all their abilities are down, and here it goes. They did it again. Team Secret. Beautiful combination that ensures a pickup on two. And FNG's just sitting there going, I already blew my sleep. There's nothing I can do about this. Melee Rax goes down, and GG is the call. Virtus Pro. They didn't seem to stand a chance. Team Seeker, once they got that slight lead, they held onto it so tight and did not make any mistakes. Very well played, Team Secret. Stages of this upper bracket. I mean, it was just last ban by VP. That was a first pick. Oh. Again, the ESL. Oh, wow. That's a big hero coming out from Secret. Particularly strong just because he is so squishy. No, he's kind of bad. It's not just because he's squishy, but the initiation range on the hero is so incredibly short. FNG, he actually lands that one. He's going to get close enough to land it an extra right click. He actually grabs a haste rune. He's going to try and do battle up against Kuro. He's trying to get to the safety of Puppy, but Puppy's like, not me, man. I don't want to be anywhere near that one. First blood does go to God. Two region to level five. Or he, uh, he has to dodge this light strike array, will not be able to, and here comes the nuke. He gets popped real quick. Arteezy actually makes his rotation, he pops the ultimate, they gotta get but BP, they're gonna stay grouped up together and try and fight up against Arteezy. The nukes are there, they get the kill, but S4, he has the double damage rune, gets the kill, and they'll end! They get the stun, three kills for S4. Secret heroes, but it was there. And the smoke up, this could be a prime opportunity for VP. This is actually a beautiful Fisher block. Keeping two away from the Roshan pit, they're kind of separating these heroes, dodging around Puppy as best as possible, and trying to try and pop Kuro. God jumps in, going for that one. Laguna Blade gets laid out. They managed to bring a couple heroes low. God gets away with that Orchid. Oh, there goes FNG, getting blown up by S4's ultimate. Gets Illidan on the side as well as it blinks forward. Now the Black Hole controlling God while they finish up more heroes. Lil managed to get Arteezy towards the end as he's being chased down. God jumps forward ahead of S4, trying to get out of this one, but the Malphys is there, stunning him up. Uses Soul Ring for the last bit of jump. There's an Invis room, but he can't quite get there in time. Time. S4 will get the kill, triple for him. In the meantime, Zai brought a little low, but Lil did manage to get away with DK Phobos. And that was just really good team play by Secret. Face the Aegis. And Illidan, there it is. Jump in, Arteza going to be able to grab him instantly. Hexed up though, and G in some serious trouble. He's trying to get rid of that Aegis. The Global Silence has popped. And G will actually jump himself away. BP maybe waiting for the counter initiation. Arteezy came forward, lost his BKB. They're gonna try and chain stun him down. Zai's actually been hit, and there goes immediately. The black hole's gone. Arteezy couldn't even get off his ultimate. DK Bobo's left to S4. They've already taken two. Can they get more? FNG gets popped by S4, but S4 is being controlled by G. He gets taken out. God, Bumpy, he's gonna be able to get away. No, he couldn't TP out in time. Elden, he's gonna go down to the right clicks of the illusions from the wall. Sadly, the carry of Virtus Pro falls, but it's still a great fight for BP. Out. Um, S4, S4 will have his. He's, he's only missing 100 gold for it, so he should be able to get a three man vacuum. Nice wall on top of that. Sonic Wave goes off, but VP are still taking enough to survive through this. Illidan will drop a little low thanks to that Orchid, but he's still able to get out. Secret desperately need to try and chase down these heroes, but they can't overextend. VP are ready for a response. In fact, now they've caught S4. Yule Scepter, Light Strike Array, trying to burst him down as fast as possible. S4 does go down. He does not have to buy back. There goes DK Phobos! And goes to on two! Trying to pop our TZ to get Puppy as well. Colonel's now going to be caught on top of Light Strike Array, and Team Secret may have just fallen apart in this team fight as they don't get anybody out of VP. Puppy's already bought back. Zai going to be able to get another three man vacuum, but Puppy's locked down by these familiars. He turns around, but God surges forward with the Fisher on top. They will be able to get this kill. Crimson Guard be damned, but they're all low. Zai has to make a big play right here. He managed to pick up one already, but Zai gonna get turned around up by the three. A Vernon Pro triple kill. Team Secret get wiped inside of their own base. And nobody from Secret at this point. Completed the oh, BKB. they're gonna run Never into mind. each other. They're actually gonna go for this one. Smoked up Team Secret. This is gonna be the end here. Is the jump in already grabbing Poppy Orchid it up? They're gonna try and burst him down. No black hole opportunities, but he gets away with the Glimmer Cape. Now the Global Silence goes laid down. Kuro's gonna fall to God. And Arteezy gets zapped by FNG, who turns around and gets the Light Strike Array. They chain stun down S4. Now Illidan, he's gonna be able to fight up against Arteezy as well. Picks up that kill. GG! Furnace Bro will take game number two and keep their hopes alive in this tournament. They saw it coming last time. I think that was their final ban last time. Oh, I guess we are down to 18, right? Like Storm is really hard. Uh, it's really easy to kill, but at the same time, it's incredibly hard for Storm to kill. Him. He's actually kind of caught here. Zai's going to try and run him oh, down with a go surge. Down. He's going to pick up the first blood here. Yep, there goes the right click. Now he will be a bit far forward. Furnace Pro may be able to turn around on, and they need the slows. 
Lil coming in with a medallion, which he doesn't have. FNG perhaps too far forward. Oh, nice turnaround there with the three-man Fisher FNG. Pops the ultimate on the Kuro, trying to finish him off. Meanwhile, S4 jumps in, gets off the Sonic Wave, but God gets the kill first. Now FNG lands the light strike on Zai. Good shell grave, keeping him alive. He turns around with the wall on top of RTZ's ultimate, just trying to push back a VP. At some point, you're going to just have to confront the fact that G's going to get a uh -oh. flood zone and S4, S4 blinked. He just blinked right into DK Phobos. They have the uh, oh, Echo no. Slam if necessary, but it's not. With the familiars there, they easily chain stun him down, and G is now in a killing spree, bringing him that much closer to the critical bloodstone that you were talking about. Oh, Kuro, he's going to be blown up by FNG as well. Gets the Light Strike Array. SF for five seconds. Let there be a turnaround. Oh, Illidan from yeah. behind. He jumps in. He's going to be able to get the silence the on the storm? puppy. And they do easily get the kill, thanks to the Fisher. And it looks like with those two pickoffs, they should be able to get this tier two tower. Team Secret actually going to go for it. Vacuum up. Sonic Wave instantly taking out one. And a second as Zai runs him down. God turns around on the S4. They will be able to pick up that counter kill. Kuro's up next. God, oh, what a ball lightning steal from Kuro. Actually gets away from the Fisher. And now, they're actually going to push VP away from this tier 2 tower because of that. Well worth the trade of S4's life. Last click on the tower there. They stun up Artur, trying to catch up. FNG's going to lead with perhaps a blind light shark. Right, yeah, the Fisher chain stunning Arteezy down with Laguna Blade on top. Shell Grave does go off, and Arteezy will have the opportunity to pop his ultimate. They just need a couple of right clicks to kill up the Drone Ranger. No, it's not enough. God is actually going to jump forward. He gets that one as the explosion from the SF actually slays God. But VP and the rest of DK Phobos are maybe in a position to be able to get more. S4 jumps forward, actually kills the Vistage. Now DK Phobos and Illidan are going to try and turn this one around still. The blinks up in two seconds but he actually has his blink dagger canceled by the illusion. He's gonna join the rest of the team, but it seems to be a bit too late. Kuro actually makes the jump in, but it's too late. God has already grabbed the Aegis, now with the two man. DK Fobos actually hit a beautiful Fisher. They've already eliminated one. Arteezy managed to get off the BKB. Pops that ultimate. They're trying to go for Lil. We'll take him out. DK Fobos, four staff away, is trying to get ahead of these heroes. And meanwhile, Illidan will just clean up Puppy nice and quick. DK Fobos stalling up these heroes, managed to get the blink away to the side, and maybe he can turn this one around with Fisher ready to go. Kuro actually steals Light Strike Array, going for the stun here, but he just gets cleaned up so quickly by those familiars. Could actually go for the five-man smoke here. Oh, he actually they spotted Arteezy. Gonna be able to vacuum, jump forward. S4, he's gonna actually turn around on Light Strike Array. God's gonna jump in. They've already taken out S4, pops a BKB, and will let her lift that ultimate. But God, he's now controlled by the telekinesis. Has to make a jump away, staying away from Arteezy. Finally goes down, but that's just the Aegis. Arteezy pushed back by the silence. They're gonna go for the support first. Poppy goes down, DK Fobos gets off the Echo Slam. He even survives. Just barely as the tower shots are not enough to finish him off. Four down from Team Secret, and VP will have that tier two. And G's got a DD rune, the silver. God sitting on the side, they're actually gonna jump him. They're gonna try and pop Illidan right away. The Fisher is out, but it doesn't hit anything. Meanwhile, God goes for Puppy in the background, instantly eliminating. Artiz, he gets hit by the Laguna Blade, but it's still up and fighting. There goes the three man with the vacuum wall on top of everything else. VP will lose the fight, and they're gonna lose just three. God has a significant amount of it left. He's gonna get over the cliff. He has to suicide. He has to go for it. Be able to avoid it. There it is, the suicide. Four down for VP. Team Secret holds in game three. I mean, Zai. Right down there by the river. They're gonna run into Puppy first. He's already gone. Down and out. The vacuum manager to catch out too with a wall on top. Lil, though, it's the response. Great familiar drop of the Echo Slam on top. DK Fomos takes out one already. Now Zai and Arteezy. They have a response, but Zai goes down as well. Laguna Blade. It's Fisher Arteezy on Arteezy three. Against the wild here for Team Secret. He's gotta pull this out, but DK Fomos, he survives. Guy gets the kill, and VP win it. They keep two alive and wipe secret. Push back by Arteezy. Once again, they grab a range Rex. They're so tentative right now. They want to make absolute sure that this game is out of reach for secret. Continuing There's to just prod and poke. So much money, so much pride on the line here for VB. They cannot afford any mistakes. Oh, here we go. Start beating onto RTZ. Jump in by God. Illidan is already losing his Aegis, but S4, he's in some serious trouble. Looks like the Shell Grave keeps him alive on the side. We have a two man vacuum. DK Bobos pops his BKB and gets away. Arteezy now pops, pops his satanic. satanic. And he's actually fighting up against Illidan, but is now being chased away with God, taking away the death on the background. There's going to be no more Shell Grave anymore. S4 gets some damage out. They managed to scythe the up the Draw Ranger, who's down to only 600 HP. Arteezy's actually trying to jump in. Illidan, he's actually going all in. He has to fight up against Sai, who's doing it for these kills. Will be able to pick it up. Echo Slam misses out. Look, go to play. Turn around by Kuro. There goes DK Bubbles, but no, so soon as S4 fall. Now they're turning around. Oh, RTZ. Oh, RTZ. He can't afford to die here. This life seal's not going to be enough. He goes down. He does not have a buyback, but the group of the vacuum. It's actually controlling him. He's got to get Illidan. He managed to get the wall. Hit God. Makes the jump away, but he will fall as well. Sai keeps Team Secret in this.
just for a little bit longer, FNG. He keeps on going, managed to pick up the kill on Kuro. Out if they really want to. Oh, they're smoked up. He's got a scythe of ice coming in. The smoke. Secret, don't even see this coming. He's gonna have the initiation. Artizi's our first target. Target number one, Echo Slam being placed on him. He pops it satanic and now turns the fight. Let's lose that ultimate. Secret are actually gonna lose. S4 here in a second. Same goes with Kuro. Good child grave save. S4. Oh, what a vacuum out. Zai lets that up beautifully. Managed to get the wall on top. And VP are actually losing some of the heroes. Aegis being popped. G, he's actually gonna go down here trying to control Artizi. They're going for the kill. Elton, he needs it. Oh, he misses the spell control. Hold up against Anzai, but they managed to pick up Zai instead. Oh, the Secret birds at the same time are starting. Back. God's gonna go in. He's trying to get Puppy as well next. Will easily be able to get this kill. No shallow grave. This Everybody. means Arteezy. There's a buyback from Puppy, actually. It's two versus three. Don't overextend and wait. Arteezy oh, actually Arteezy. in this mid lane. Is he too far forward? Once again, Shane Stun S4 comes in to try and help out. Our tour can't go down. BKB, Satanic Pops. He starts healing himself up. VP, quick on the retreat. They're Arteezy just gonna wait. He's getting stunned up. God, he's gonna be able to jump back in. There's no BKB, no Satanic. This life is final. Arteezy, he's gonna be dropping here to God as he just fully commits for this kill. Gifted in the end. Our tour down for two minutes. VP, they're moving forward. GT, well played. Secret call it. VP have eliminated the fan favorites of this tournament. And they will move on and face up against LGD in the losers bracket. And they just look so ecstatic right now, and they should. They just played such a great game. They risked it all multiple times at that Roshan fight. Like, sure, they're very strong in the Rosh fight, but... Oh, interesting. Pugna. Super Pugna as well. Yeah, this is a bit weird. So it is Dice as Ice. He's gonna put down a Fissure here. I think CTY can get around this. Nope, he actually can't. He's gonna have to run through the river. They might even oh, try to go for this one with the crap. They're slowing him down, moving in. Ice 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 is actually rotated around as well to see if he can help out the team. Chasing down CTY on final life strike right onto Super, but they're gonna continue to go for it here. One more Zap will do it. And the rotation from the offlane Zeus there securing VG first blood. Actually ridiculous, so. You can already see, of course, Lanham here in the jungle, just starting to make some stacks up, ready and waiting, of course, for CTY to come in. And CTY actually getting caught out here with the Fisher as well. Super moving again, will be able to bottle up the regen rune. And he's going to continue to chase his ice, ice, ice with the rotation yet again. Looking for CTY, but in the, at the same time comes YJ. They're trying to turn around the find ice, ice, ice there with the Dragon Slave. And now DDC and YJ, they might look to see if they can find more. Moving up a Super with the Decrev, and now the Blast. YJ, oh, the Fisher as well. He's getting low, and he will go down. Pops us out, Super and FY are able to finish him off. Now with a party ring front down, DDC, he's trapped with Lanham, they'll fight DDC. Now they look towards Lanham, here's a double kill in fact for both CTY and FY off the back of this. Behind decide to go for the gyro, but it, even if that's not going to be the case here, Vici Gaming, they'll have the time and the opportunity to go for another tier one. In fact, DDC looking to TP out here, they'll get the vision with the Thunder Ghost Wrath. And now with a Fisher, DDC in a lot of trouble. He's trying to run away here, but Super will close in on him, and, and the Nether Blast dropped down. Oh, didn't quite catch him, but Ice 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 there with the Arc Lining. Sal's being popped by DDC. He's trying to do what he can. It's not enough, and, and they'll lose the Rubik here. And, and the side of E-Home will almost certainly lose this Tier 1 as well. YJ and Lanham, they're looking for potentially something in trade, pushing on the Tier 1 in the middle lane, and ROTK amping up the pressure on the bottom. And CTY is going to be able to get himself out. So. Very, very... Lanham. Play from CTY not using the... Yeah, he's got the Song of the Siren in, he's going to use it. He's going to use it, he's going to get himself out. Or is he going to get himself back in? The rest of the team is wrapping around down the river, and they're going to look for FY here with the Laguna Blade as well. They're able to take down Disruptor before he gets anything off. Lanham's got the Glimmer Cape, it's going to be enough to keep him alive. Yes, it is, with the mech coming in from RTK. Now Lanham with the Mirror's Image, going to be able to get himself back out. It's just the Disruptor that's fallen so far. Ehom getting low. How trying to do what he can with Femra and Super. Super's popped the BKB, now YJ. His BKB has run off. And they're going to chase down Thunder Gods Raph here. Femra trying to move forward, finds the Fissure onto YJ. Now with the Rocket Barrage, they'll get the Luna. Now Femra looking for more. Super with the Never Blast. They grab onto you by RTK. They'll find him. Echo Slash blowing for that one. There's a double kill for Ice Ice Ice. Can they find anything more? CTY is just getting himself out. And it uh, looks like CTY and DDC will be the lone survivors here at this fight as Vici Gaming. So. Right, scary. Is trying to get the push on on this top lane, but he's going to have to TP back for the defense here because Vici already on it. DDC with the telekinesis onto Hal, trying to bring him back into this one. The good play as well. Hal getting low. Oh, he gets taken down before he can do anything in response. Fantastic play there from e home and now they're going to look for more. Looking for Fenrir. The song's going to come out. They force a the rotation. They just wait now. Oh, the TDC blinking forward. Are they able to disperse of Hal straight away as well? Oh, the Glimmer Cake is going to buy him time. The wall has to be dropped. Now the corner. How with the BKB trying to turn this round? Moving in, but the Laguna Blade is too much damage. 
CTY is able to take down the Jaren Atlanta with the Song of the Star, and they're looking for more here. Will they be able to find it? Moving in onto Femre. Femre getting low. Move up the charges. They'll lose him. It's going to be three down, but they have found two in response. YJ is still alive here. Johnny going to hit out, but Ice Ice Size, he might be able to clean this one up. There's a ball. Double kill now for Ice Ice Size. E home, four of them hitting the deck. It's only DDC. Let's see who's, who's going to make the first jump here. Netherworld down on the side. Ready for him to fight into. I'm just heading up here. On the gyrocopter. A fair bit, and DDC is just going to jump on him straight away with the telekinesis. But how, of course, does have the ages. But look at this with the reverse life trade healing him up. He's still alive. It will finally go down now. Aegis is there ready for round two. Can they kill him again? That's the question. No, he pops the BKB straight away. They found the tier three. Now FY moving in as well. And he's trapped. Can Alana here in the kinetic field in the static storm. They're moving in. They need to kill the Naga. She has got song available. And with the ult here from YJ, he's actually doing a significant amount of damage. It's not quite enough. Can he kill Ice Ice Ice? Now Ice 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 gets himself out. Looks like they'll only lose Hal here. Femur's actually stuck in the trees. He's got a blink in a second. Will he be able to make it? No, the damage is on him. Earthshaker's all stuck up. They'll find him as well here. The Yules just slowing down the pace. So they'll get the kill nonetheless right now, but the difficult thing for FY is going to be to find the right position. Of course, he does have Blink Dagger, but... Well, maybe it's not so hard after all. They can Zeus ult, and he can Blink and find his target of choice and basically almost force a one-for-one -one trade. Oh, they're going to jump in and straight on to YJ, but they don't catch him in the Kinetic. They've got the Glimpse, though, but no, the BKB's there. He's going to be fine. And now, the side of Ehome trying to reinitiate, moving in. They take away the Nether Ward. Now, YJ with the ultimate, trying to find out, and he'll cancel the TP. How's stuck at the high ground? We'll put the BKB, but the Laguna Blade going for it. How getting low? He's trying to fight for this, but he goes down here. Nice echo down from Fenrir, though. He catches two. They'll find both of those kills, but Fenrir loses his life. Super trying to for the live train here on CTY, and it is a two for two at the moment here. Uh, How gets the first Laguna Blade in his face? He gets to Satanic and just hit two or three times. Yeah, this like could be big for e Yeah, here we go. They can find a jump here. They do have the Thunder Ghost Refugee. If they pop it, this would be a great time to do so, but they're not going to go so And here we go. They pop it now. And oh, they actually get down the Static Storm here. This might disrupt the Eho's fight. But YJ gets on the BKB, looking for Hal, trying to chase down Hal. Hal gets good catch up. He's going to be okay for the time being. They've already lost the Ruby Gear on the side of Eho. Now Lanham comes out with the song, trying to set something up. They want to get rid of this Nether Ward. RTK moving him with the punches. YJ's going to help him out as well. They'll get rid of the oh, Nether Ward. The wall's being dropped. But Fenrir now with the Echo Sam onto YJ. Another refresh from Ice The second hole comes out. Two of them dead. Lanham's trying to TP himself out, but he's going to get glimpsed. Oh, Hal's moving in onto RTK. Can't find the darks here. They'll also get the Naga Siren. Triple kill for Ice Ice Sight. That refresher ult setting it up perfectly. And Ehome forced back to their base. Very nice. Well, now they get the stun onto Hal. What will he be able to steal here? DJ. Okay, he's got the homing missile. Ice Ice Sight's moving forward. YJ incredibly low, but it pops the BKB. Now with the same time, trying to fight onto Ice Ice Sight. Turn towards Hal. And the stolen missile actually holding Hal down there. Two with the light train from the low ground. Can they kill him for the second time? This double time. miss. But there's the first Laguna Blade. Hal, he's going to be vulnerable. and they break down Ehome, they win game one. I mean, they might pick anti-mage, it's a good pick for them. That's I don't a like common it. thing though, when, uh, when the pressure increases, sure. you want to secure late game even more. What, what were you saying? I didn't like Clockwork here, just because they have so many heroes that can get out of it, including... For them to go for that kill, yeah. it's just a big waste of time for the Storm and Sand King. Mid lane, they're gonna force out a TP. This is probably DDC, ah, oh, he's gonna, yeah, they get the deny there. Uh, YJ moving in, trying to look for more with the Rocket Barrage onto Femre. Femre is going to pop that, but that's not going to help you against the magical damage of the Rocket Barrage, son. He will go down. And Ehome do claim themselves the first kill. Oh, he's getting ball back, though. Super and FY looking to make it pay. Oh, Super's got to be careful, though. Now, actually not brought down the Gyro. He's going to be all right now. CTY is up again, looking for FY. Oh, the Blink for the Mana Boy for Hal does claim the kill. CTY will be able to zip himself away. Did find the pickoff onto FY. But Hal moving forward, trying to get some damage onto the tower. Lanham's there as well. That's going to jump in onto Hal, but the entire team of VG's here. Out comes the Snowball. Moving in onto CTY, onto Lanham as well. The Oracle comes out there for the Quark. Hal's already found the kill onto Rubik, and he's going to look for more now. Actually backing themselves off because Ehome's coming with the rotation. They find Ice Ice Ice. They'll get that Femrir. Will go down as well. Con Embrace isn't going to save him. It's a few hundred away from the ultimate orb, and then he'll need the recipe. Bottom lane, though, for FY getting caught out by RTK and Lanham. They're going to live the Disruptor. They'll be able to find him. Plus two. Not a hope for him to get himself out. DDC, what's your eyes on? Plus eight at the moment as well. Not too bad. 18 minutes in for the support silencer. And we're moving forward. He's got the Winter's Curse going to drop it straight away on RTK. And with Super coming in as well, they should be able to find the Sand King. They'll burst him down. Super, of course, with the Orchid complete now as well. They're moving forward for more. Looking for DDC. The damage is just a little bit too much. DDC's going to get healed up here by the end. Looks like Super's not going to continue to chase it. Top lane, it actually looks like Ehome. They've got eyes on the anti-mage. Moving in onto Hal. 
And they're gonna drop the cooldown in the zip fork. Can they get the electro? Oh yes, with the global silence, they should be able to find this one. Moving on to Hal. They'll get him, and it's a good time to get him as well. He nearly had his Manta style complete. Every kill that they can get him with those silences before the Manta's out is, is gonna be massive for the side of Iha. And this is what Merlini was talking about before the game. Because they have silencer, they can play the Storm Spirit this way as if he has Orchid. Wow, looking for Fenrir, Lana with the stolen blink, moving forward, getting the telekinesis off with the Fae Bard as well. YJ chasing now with a rocket barrage, now we're dead. Winter Wyvern, killing spree now for DDC, and more intelligence into his pocket. Plus 10 now. Ow. If they could catch out how. It's gonna be pretty big, How revealing himself and they'll get him in straight away. He's not gonna get a chance to get off this mantle. Can they bring him before he gets it off? Yes, they will, just yep. as he tries to get himself out. He used it to split push and farm mid, and they catch him off at the same time. Oh, they might find Femre here as well. Zimping in on CTY, they'll get a second kill. E-Home, FY's dropped the static storm of the kinetic field. Sonic Wave coming out from Super now. Actually burst one, two down. Double kill here for the Queen of Pain. And now it's Dusk. Ice 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 coming in. They want to try and find more. More text from CTY, bringing Ice 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 back. CTY will escape. YJ tries to TP out. Isn't going to be able to do so with the more response there from Ice Ice Ice. And VG oh, finds himself through the Glimps. Oh, it was there just in time. They're going to be able to find more. Super moving in onto DDC with Ice 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 and FY. Find out, find out, four. BG Gaming taking the fight for two. Very nicely done. Wanting to fight with this one. Moving into the Radiant Jungle. Ehome are there. Just a question whether VG can find the jump. Don't quite have Sonic Wave and all. Oh, Super just going straight in with the BGB. The Ice Shines actually blocking Super up. No, the Snowball picks him up, but the Stolen Snowball dodges the stun. Nicely done, and now they'll move forward onto Hal. CTY coming in as well. They get off the cooldown here. YJ might be able to turn this. They found Super on the quad. They're looking for Hal as well. He gets off the mana point onto YJ, but RTK with the epicenter. Ice 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 getting low. They won't be quite able to kill him. No, they do get him. They might find out as well. The bot, the Aegis here. They do lose YJ here in the Static Storm, but they might, are they going to go for rounds? It looks like they're on the retreat. They're terrified of how how moving in RTK with the burst drive with the party ring it catches all three of them how these stuff goes to work the cold embrace healing him up won't be able to fight for the time being but now here we go back in he's actually getting low down with the telekinesis the global silence how oh it mounts it off trying to blink out with the fire strike there from ROTK TTY moving forward trying to find F5 they'll get F5 so it's a double kill for the storm spirit trying to find Ferrer here Lanham blinking down looking for the wyvern desperately Famra trying to chew out through the tree line but oh blink forward from Lanham can he find him yes he can he hasn't got the mana to do anything though it's just going to be right clicks the cold embrace holds Ferrer in place but it's almost certainly going to be holding him in place to his doom. And we're going to look at Eon getting a TY. Triple kill for CTY. What a play there from the side. Both teams very much ready to jump in. CTY getting the vision. Oh, can you see how here? Yes, he can. Sets up the Delicanesis. How getting caught out? Can they burst him down for the BKB off? Yes, maybe they can. No. Gets the BKB off. Will be able to blink himself away. They're just going to look for Ice 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 here. But Ice 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 gets off the snowball here. He's going to be ready to go back in. Picking everyone up. And now with the Winter's Curse holding YJ in place. Trying to bring down the Gyrocops to Sonic Wave as well, but now he pops the BKB, turns to Super. Epicenter from RTK, and he gets Fenrir there with a burst strike. CTY coming in, finding the Wave, but will he be able to do it? Yes, he will. How though with the mana void on CTY? CTY has been silenced up. CTY stuck here. Oh, but they find the kill. It's a double kill for CTY. Finally, Ice Ice with the Snowball will find the kill, but it pays with his life. As the, uh, the stolen one, the stolen Snowball there, moving in onto FY. Super's had to blink away. Three heroes down on the side of VG, and it may just be four. FY looking for the TP out, won't make it. Double kill for YJ, and again, E home. Their way straight into the jungle. Man, I'm looking for a D ward. It might be his last one for a bit of time as Hal comes in. Limicate will be there. Oh, Lanham's able to get himself out of this one. Hal moving forward. Oh, he gets the blink off. He's out of there. CTY zipping forward without the Winter's Curse holding in place. Hal's starting to go to work. The BKB was already caused by CTY to lose firm rear. Hal looking for the batches. Will he be able to find it? No, CTY is able to zip away. Now YJ coming in with the snowball from Ice Ice moving forward with the Warriors pushed down to YJ as well. Hal with the right click bashing him up. YJ still trying to fight for this. The global silence has been popped. Hal just looking to chase this one down. RTK with the epicenter there. We go with the power strike. Holding Hal back. The glimpse is there. They want to YJ and he will lose his life. RTK silenced up. Ice 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 trying to find the start with the snowball. Will get it. Super's there. How as well with the hex. RTK nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. How gets himself a double kill. To sort to help against these hexes and zip four from CTY straight onto Super BKB popped as well. Lanham trying to help. Global Silence has come out here. The Snowball comes out from Ice 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 there, and they're able to find the kill onto Lanham. How trying to work his way onto YJ with the bash as well. Looking for the gyro here. Lotus Orb has been popped down onto YJ, and now he's actually looking for CTY here. The Snow coming for RTK. They're controlling the anti mage with the Winter's Curse out to RTK. Oh, Ice 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 with the punch onto YJ. CTY looking for How. Cold Embrace is there though. How will live. The Blood Surge tonight comes out. How gets stumped up by Strike. Ice Ice Ice. Trying to help out. The snowball's there. It will protect Hal. Moving it onto DDC here. Hal with the right clicks. Hal's actually got himself out of here. They found three. 
E-Home just down to their last two. DDC and YJ trying to do what they can. How moves over the man avoid onto YJ. F5 still there looking for DDC. Super Fenrir and DDC can they find it? They will. F Fenrir falls no YJ. He's all on his own. Can he find something? He can return the hexes there. No, he can't. Super with a double kill as they take down the entire TV home CTY. Look at this here. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh! Not quite long enough. Not quite long enough. He goes for the play. Oh, I guess the courier. Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, how? How? The bow! The pistol blade! No, he's gonna get it! He's gonna get it! He gets it! He kills Storm a second time! Make a kill streak for how? Got an item to take How? Revealing himself in lane here. OTK, OTK wants to fight and they'll go for Super, but Super gets the BKB out here. I think someone can any field to come out. There's the global silence as well. There was the Hex on Tara TK. How now with the Abyssal Blade onto YJ going to work. Yeah, Sasha's moving in as well. I don't think the Lotus Storm's going to save him. YJ getting loaded. Winter's Curse will finally come out. Oh, he gets Lotus Storm back to Fairy. Manavoy comes out. The half finds the kill. And now they're looking for more here. They want to find RTK. They should be able to find it. They will. Another kill for Hal. CTY zips away. TP's out. Will they be able to cancel it? No, they can't quite find the storm. But three for one there. Just made it. They need something spectacular. This might be it. Hex onto Hal, but Warren's pushing wise. That's on CCY in the Hex as well. No, the match as well. CCY's dead. He can buy back. He can buy back, and he's going to need to potentially if he wants any chance of holding on. Ruby's going to be back up in 10 seconds, but still the gyro and the sanking down for 30. Fortification coming out. I don't know what Ehon could do now. They need a miracle, nothing less. DDC. Snowball's going to be coming in his way with Super Blinking Board as well. The Glimpse as well bringing it back. The Snowball changes direction to DDC and DDC's going to go down. The Mega helping him. No, he's going to live for a bit of time. I so I know him with the Basil Blade onto CTY. Man avoid. It's all over. It's got to be. They're looking for Lanham as well. He's up and down, up and down. But he will finally go down for the final time. Double kill for Hal. Four heroes on the deck. Jar is now back, but they're still lacking the storm. The silence of the ruby. It's GG. BG do it. That'll move on. 